Welcome to the O'Connor Elder Law Channel. I'm your host, Melissa O'Connor. I'm a Florida-based elder law attorney who does estate planning, focusing on long-term care needs, commonly referred to as Medicaid planning, and I do probate, and I do it well. Today, I wanted to talk about what benefits um, lawful permanent residents or green card holders are entitled to um, when they are 65 and older, because that's a common question that um, comes up in my practice here in South Florida. But before I do, I wanted to invite you to schedule a free strategy session with me at eldermeeting.com. Okay, so many times I get calls from people who are green card holders, they're lawful permanent residents, and they are, are, have concerns about whether or not they can qualify for certain government benefits, particularly Medicare Part A, right? When you turn 65, um, that's something that you know people and, that are 65 and older are able to qualify for, and green card holders are concerned sometimes that they may not qualify for it. Similarly, Social Security, right? Are they entitled to receive Social Security benefits? And the answers vary depending on the person. So for Medicare Part A, um, if you have been here for five years as a lawful permanent resident, um, you are entitled to purchase Medicare Part A. Um, likewise, you are entitled to Social Security benefits, but just like everybody else, you need to have worked the necessary quarters um, which is essentially about 10 years worth of, of work history. So many times people who come here late in life to the United States, they don't qualify for Social Security um, benefits because they have not contributed um, enough into the system to be able to qualify for those benefits. So they'll have to rely on their savings or pension plans or other sorts of benefits that they may have from their home country or from um, corporate America that they may have had a job in. Then the other question comes up with Medicaid. Um, so should somebody who is a lawful permanent resident need long-term care benefits that would otherwise be covered by Medicaid? Um, they can qualify for those benefits. Um, there's only certain types of um, folks. You'd have to either be here five years and if you have not been here five years and you believe that you need um, Medicaid benefits, then only certain types of qualified um, non-citizens would um, be able to be entitled to benefits and those are asylum seekers and refugees. Um, they do not need to wait the five years to be able to qualify for benefits. Um, oh, another thing worth mentioning um, that I didn't mention before when I was talking about Medicare Part A is if you haven't worked, you know, haven't been present for five years in the country with your green card, um, you can still purchase health insurance through the marketplace, right? And depending on your income level, you might still be able to get it at a reduced price, just like um, everybody else in the United States based off their income is how that marketplace works and whether or not, you know, what rate you pay. Um, same thing for lawful permanent residents, so green card holders. So even though you're over 65, if you haven't been um, in the country for more than five years, um, you can still purchase the health insurance right through the marketplace, even if you can't otherwise purchase your Medicare Part A. Um, or if you don't otherwise qualify for Medicaid benefits, you'll have to cash pay for your care at that juncture and um, or seek to purchase some sort of private insurance policy. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, I ask that you like and share with others. And as always, um, feel free to schedule a free strategy session with me at eldermeeting.com. Thanks for joining me.